one week update of everything that's going on with my little baby right here. <laughs> I torture her. I love you. You don't want a hug from your mom and a kissy? I'm so livid and just so frustrated right now. And welcome back to The Rachel Show. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. I don't know what is wrong with Scout, but she is not herself. Okay, we finally got Scout the right food. This stuff is not cheap. I think it's $5.99 per can. But this is what we're getting. We're getting the wet food because she already has tons of dry food, but she's not eating that. So we're doing the right vet recommended trigger warning because if I'm going to be honest and I want to be transparent and honest about this journey then I'm going to have to share like video and pictures of her skin issues so that way you guys can kind of understand where we're coming from in the beginning to where we want to be. We want to be ultimately the most healthiest dog without any skin issues or um, wax buildup issues in the ear and no itchy paws and stuff like that. Clean out your ears, okay? I know. It's not cute and it's not fun. Please just be a good girl. Be good babies. Gotta get some of this dusty, crusty, musty crap out of your ear, honey. Feels so bad. I'm so sorry. Two. God, I need before you go anywhere, let mom go ahead and just get this other ear. This is the ear that's the worst. Mm -hmm. This is the ear that has all of the nasties in there. Yeah, OMG. Oh my gosh, Scout. Oh, that is repulsive. Okay, I just got done cleaning out Scout's ears. I use these ear care aloe wipes right here from Esprit. I guess that's how you pronounce it. And I like these wipes, um, but I'm also using here, these Positex. Positex, I guess that's how you pronounce it little drops every single day in her ear. She gets like a little drop and drag it up. Um, give her that every single day in her ears. She got this prescribed to her from her old vet and it's something they've always told me just give her drops in her ears for 14 days every time she has like a flare up of where she has a bunch of buildup and it should help to clear it up. So we've been doing this every day since her food allergy diagnosis again the by the vet down here that i'm going to tag the original video so you guys will kind of get the context of everything but this is the drops i've been giving her in her ears every night or at least once a day at some point in the day morning night i don't know and then i've been going in with these esprit ear care aloe wipes and giving her the well wiping her ears out with these and i like this because i can use my finger and ma'am excuse you i can use my finger and get down in there a little bit and kind of get into the nooks and crevices of like you know the ear canal opening area i don't go down too deep but i want to go down deep enough to get some of that crap out of there that's being expelled by these drops. These Positex drops will help to expel and bring the wax out of the ear canal area and up into an area that's more safe to go ahead and grab it up. So I use these in combination with these and that's what we're doing every single night. And I just cleaned her ears out for the day. And if I am looking at her, her left ear, this, this is kind of gross. So TMI, trigger warning, whatever. This is the crap that came out from yesterday. 
since, or since yesterday, I wiped yours out yesterday. And this is what came out today. If you can see that, hopefully it's really gross. And her left ear, when I'm looking at her, her left ear is her worser ear. And then this not much came out of the right ear. I know, you don't like these wipes. But she for some reason wants to try to eat the wax that's on those. And then every day, I also go in with these Duwek Duo. I think the X is supposed to be like a silent, like a French. So it's like Duos 3. I don't know. These antiseptic antifungal wipes. And I wipe down her belly and her cookie. I don't know if you can say the actual real word on here. But I wipe her, uh, like her undercarriage area down with these every single day. Make sure I get that really well because she does have a little rash down there and I don't know if it has food allergy or if it's allergy like seasonal allergy related but I think like let's attack the food allergy and figure that out I am a little concerned because it's already been a week and I feel like her ears aren't looking any better so I think we might have to go to like a second vet and get a second vet's opinion I'm not quite sure Yet, I really don't know what to do because this has been going on for so long. I don't want to delay any, like, of keeping her in any kind of discomfort, if you know what I'm saying. I want to make sure that she feels comfortable and well taken care of. She is six years old. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's kind of our weekly update. There's not much of an update. She still has a skin allergy or skin rash. She still has a bunch of crappy, crusty grodiness in her ears that we're dealing with. For the most part, she's really just a happy-go-lucky kind of baby. This isn't bothering her too much, I've noticed. But I think it will be so much better to have all of this gone because I have noticed that she goes like this with her ear where she's a little... You know, trying to get all of that out. I feel so bad for you. Poor little baby. I wish I could do more. I don't know. Just doing what the vet had told us. But we'll share another update next week. I have no idea if I'll have better news. But by next week, she would have been gotten. Or she would have had 14 days on these drops. And that's supposed to be kind of like the marker where things should be cleared up and then she can go back to her normal kind of ear cleaning schedule. I usually take her, or I used to take her about once a month, but maybe I'm supposed to up that a couple times a month now. I used to get her ears clean up really good with her nail trim once a month at PetSmart. But maybe I might have to get her into a two a month schedule once these have their 14 days of doing their job. If this doesn't work for, like after the 14 days are up and I'm still noticing a lot of discharge in her ear, a lot of buildup of wax, I think we're gonna start trying to figure out if we should go to a different vet and kind of get their opinion. It's just hard to know exactly what to do. But we'll come back with another update next week and hopefully we'll have some good news. Anyway, thanks for hanging with us. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. It was beautiful. It was gorgeous.